I became aware of a proposal uh, that a developer come up with to build a, a high-rise apartment building on the old site of the old sanitation garage which is on the East River right just immediately north of the 59th Street Bridge. And I was horrified at this proposal because um, it seemed this was public property, it was on the waterfront, uh, and it led, it could potentially lead to the, the existing and just in the process of being developed, the East River waterfront north of, from 59th Street North. And so I, um, I really started the um, a protest movement to, to try and prevent this happening. And one of the results of that was the development was aborted. And out of that came, what are we going to do on the site? And I said, well, we should have an artist celebrate the structure, which was a dilapidated garage that overlooked the river. And I looked around for an artist who I thought would be appropriate. And even though I didn't know Alice Aycock at the time, I'd seen her work. And I thought, this is the person we need. And I approached Alice and she said, yes, she would be interested in working on it. So we worked together. I ended up being the architect and she ended up being the sculptor. She produced this wonderful, playful piece of sculpture on the roof. We could leave the structure, even though we took away the skin and everything that was just the structure of the pavilion. We could leave the pavilion as a sort of icon. More importantly, her sculpture would then be up, high enough up in the air so that you could see it from way inland. You can see it from several blocks away so that you look towards the East River and you see this wacky, crazy thing swirling around and it's called the East River Roundabout. So you know, I pushed her and pushed the project. We raised money and we got it built. And so that was very satisfying. <laughs>